Hi guys, welcome to today's lesson on time signatures. So a time signature is basically the two numbers placed at the start of a piece of music and it tells you three very important things. It tells you how many beats there are per bar, it tells you the value of each of those beats in the bar and it also tells us whether the tune we're playing in is in simple time or compound time. So let's go through it. So the very first thing we said was the two numbers placed at the start of a piece of music. So here's our stave, very roughly drawn. Okay, let's say it's a 2-4 that we're playing. So there's our time signature, 2-4. So I said the first thing it tells us is the amount of beats per bar. That's what the top number tells us. Number of beats. So straight away we know that there's going to be two beats per bar in this tune. I'm going to make that straight because that's going to annoy me. Yeah. Right, so there's going to be two beats per bar in this tune. We also said it tells us the value of each beat in the bar and that's what the bottom number tells us. So the bottom number is value of each beat. And you might be thinking, well, 4 isn't a value. What? Think back to the duration table again. Uh -huh. We'll always come back to the table of relative note values and think of our fractional values in relation to the whole note. So your um, semi-brief was the whole note, and then you went down to a half note, which is your minimum, so the half was the 2, and then you've gone down to a quarter note, which was the 4 for the quarter, which was a crotchet. That's the 4 there, okay? So the value of the beat note is a crotchet in a 2-4. So you know straight away there's two of them, and they're crotchets. So there's one crotchet there. There's my second crotchet there. You see that? So the va the top number told us the number of beats, two of them. The bottom number also told us the value of each, the value sorry of each beat, and the value of each beat being a quarter note. So it's a crotchet. And I said it told us three things. Okay, the third thing it tells us is whether the time signature is simple or compound time. So if you think back to your simple and compound time lesson. Simple time was when the beat note was divisible by two notes of equal or lesser value. A crotchet can be split in half to get two quavers. So that tells me that that is a simple time signature. Simple time, okay? So let's rub that out. And I'll keep the save. And we'll go for these lines back on. Let's go for three, four. So think back to what we said the first number told us. It told us the number of beats per bar. So there's going to be three beats in this bar here. And if you're wondering with the bars and bar lines, we've been taught this, okay? Remember that was the stave, <coughs> two bar lines, and the bar was the space between the two bar lines. So in every single bar, there's going to be three beats. Okay? One, two, three. Before I draw them in, I need to know what value the beat notes are. So the value of the beat note is 4, okay, so that tells me straight away that it's quarter notes. So it's 3 quarter notes per bar, or 3 crotchets. So there's 1, 2, 3, okay. And a little introduction to music writing, okay, I can take that crotchet, if I wanted to, and split it in half, and get two quavers. I could take that one and split it in half get two quavers, and I could leave that one as it is. And if I wanted to be fancy and embellishments, I could make that a flam. So that's me written a bar of three, four. If I wanted to make it even fancier, I could put an accent on this if I wanted to. I could roll over these two notes. You see how, um, how easy it is for me to write the music there? It's surprisingly easy. Okay, 
Right, let's rub that one out. And I'll hold out you fast forward as I do this, eh? Hopefully. Okay, so we've done 2 4, 3 4. You can also do 4 4, which be be the exact same again. 4 crotchet beats per bar. You can also do 5 4. Okay, so we've, we've kind of dealt with simple time signatures. Let's look at some compound time signatures. So if you see this, you'll be like, oft, <laughs> oft, straight away. You'll think, well, the number is 6 and 8. So if we think back to the 2 4, it's going to be 6 and the 8. What is the fraction of value? Think about it, think about it, think about it. Semi brief whole note, minimum half note or two, crotchet quarter note or four, half again is a quaver or an eighth note. So it's going to be six quavers per bar. So let's draw that in. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So straight away, when I see that, that's what the time signature is telling me. It's six quaver notes per bar. But when you're tapping out a 6-8, or you're getting a beat for a 6-8, you don't do that. All right, because first of all, the bass drummer is going to have a heart attack playing that fast for that amount of time. And it's too confusing, all right, if you've not got a strict beat note to follow. All right, because say that's the tempo of the tune. It's quite tricky to follow that. Okay, so we're going to add these up and come up with a smaller amount of notes. So straight away, if I add these two together, your two quavers, you get a crotch it, and then think back to how, what happens with this one. Okay, think back to our dots and cuts and lengthening notes exercise, or lesson we've done. So that extra note would be the dot. And then it's the same here. The two quavers, add them up, that third quaver becomes the dot. So if I rub this out again, a bar of 6 8 would be two dotted crotchets. Okay? And then straight away, remember we talked about the third thing the time signature told us, whether it's in simple or compound time. We know that a 6 8 is in compound time because that beat note, which we've got now, which we just added up from the quavers, is equal to one, two, three notes of equal lesser value, which is your three quavers, as you can see there. Oh, well, that's a rubbish one. That's a better quaver. Okay, so that tells us. That's in compound time. And I'm going to fast forward again. So this time we're going to do 9 8. And I'm going to do the exact same theory that I've done just a minute ago as I put my watch on silent because it keeps pinging and it's doing my head in. So remember what the first number told us? What was the number of beats per bar? So we're looking at 9, and it's the same 8 that we used before, so it's going to be quavers. So again, think of the whole note, semi brief, minimum, half note, or 2, crotchet, quaver note, or 8, uh, 4, sorry, and then, no, start again. <laughs> minimum, whole note, semi brief, sorry, whole note, minimum, half note, crotchet, quarter note, or 4, quaver, 8th note. So there needs to be 9 quavers in this bar. 1, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine quavers. So again, like I said before, the bass drummer is not going to want to go one, two, three, one, two, three, like that. It's going to be too much for him or her. So we need a strict beat note to be able to follow and to be able to write this properly. So I'm going to take the first two quavers and add them up. And I get the crotch it. And same as before, that third quaver is the dot. 
add these two up, got my crotch chip, the third one is your dot, add these up, got your crotch chip, and the third one is your dot. Okay, so if I rub this bit out again, that's more passwords. The value of the beat notes in a 9-8 would be 1, 2, 3. So if you get asked how many beats are there in a bar of 9-8, the answer is 3. And you might be thinking instead of going down the long route of doing all these, adding them up and ending up with these, remember when we said it was compound time? the beat note was divisible by 3, so you could always say, right, well, what is 9 divided by 3? Is 3. 3 beats. So we had 6, 8. The first number being 6, divide 6 by 3, you get what? 2. So there's 2 beats per bar. And the final compound time signature that you deal with is 12, 8. Excuse me, so if you're to divide 12 by 3, you get what? 4, mm-hmm, so it'd be the exact same again. So instead of a 9, it would be 12. And instead of 3 beats per bar, you've got 4. Okay, so that's a very basic introduction to time signatures. So think back to the three things it told us. It told us the value. Um, or sorry, the number of beats per bar. So if we go for the 2-4 again, the very first thing it told us was the number of beats per bar. So it's 2. So right, 1, 2. And the bottom figure told us the value of the beats per bar. So the 4, thinking of our duration table again, is crotchets. 1, 2. And it told us whether the time signature was in simple time or compound time. Crotches can be split in half, so it's a simple time signature. And that, I'm going to say, is as easy as it gets. It's fairly easy, but I understand it very well now. Again, it took a wee while. The, the trickiest bit I found was, how does that make a 12-8? Okay, you're like, well, when you get the 12-8, you could do what um, we've done initially with a 6, 8 and 9, 8. Just write out all the quavers and then add them up. All right, and you end up with that. And it's easier than you think in that sense because with compound time, you are doing that. In simple time, you're not. It's not as if I'm throwing 50 kinds of time at you all right, and getting you to remember them all. We're, we're only doing it for simple and compound time. Okay, Much easier than you think. And I'll rub this out again. So the simple time signatures we're dealing with were 2-4, four, 3-4 four, and 4-4. Four, four. They're the most commonly played time signatures in simple time and the compound time signatures we use the most are 6-8, 9-8 and 12-8. You will get funky time signatures, okay you'll get other ones that we sometimes play, there's a 2-2 two, two you can play, where if it was a 2-2, two, two, for example, it would be 2 beats per bar and the 2 would tell us their minimums, 2 minimums per bar. You can get 5-4, where it's 5 beats per bar and each beat is a crotch chip. You can also get things like 7-8, okay, where it's 7 um, quavers, 7 I quavers to the bar. Don't worry too much about these other time signatures. These are the ones we play all the time in pipe band drumming. Now and then, very now and then, we would play the other ones, but you don't need to worry about it. So final recap, top number tells us the amount of beats per bar, so it's two. Bottom number tells us the value of each beat in the bar. So that would be two crotchets per bar. And we know when it's a crotchet, it can be split in half, so it's simple time signature. 6 8, and same with all the other ones. Number of beats per bar is saying 6, and then 8 being the quavers, 
And then we had one, two, three, four, five, six. We took the first three quavers, added them together to get our dotted crotch chip, and our second three quavers gave us our second dotted crotch chip. And again, oh, the, that one was compound time, I'm sorry, because you could split that note into three equal lesser value, or three parts of equal lesser value. And again, as always, I'll put up a little slide at the end of this video to explain this as well. And feel free to rewind, get in touch, ask me any questions you want.